Okay, first of all, you want to go to the iTunes Store app. That's the purple one with the star, not the white one with the music sign. You want to search Screwface, Jean, and Dax. You know what I mean? You want to ignore Taylor Swift. Beyonce had the best album to do. Anyway, type in Screwface, Jean, Dax. It should pop up right there. You click it. I already pre-ordered it, so you know, it's pre-ordered. But right there, it says pre-ordered. You click it, and you will have it. And then send me your screenshot to screwfacejohn at gmail.com. Now let me show you how to do the Google Play one. All right? So you go, I don't have Google Play. If you have Android, you'll have Google Play, but I just Googled it. Typed in Google Play, not Google Play Music. Google Play, not Google Play Music. Google Play, that's important. All right? Then you scroll down, you skip the Google Play Music one, you click the Google Play. It should look like that, right? You click in there, you type in Screwface Jean and Dax. <laughs> All right. And then boom, right there. You know what I mean? Click it, pre-order it, and thug out. Love y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a new day, but the same old bush going down right now, ladies. Let me close this door before I really get in my, in my duffly wuffly. Hold up. Hold up. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting in my bag. For real. Yup. Mm hmm. The bag. Yeah, the blue bag might be back. That ain't the same blue bag. It's like the film. But still, that could only mean one thing, ladies and gentlemen. SFJ is about to get in his duffel. I'm in my bag. In my bag merch out right now. Make sure y'all get that. Before I get into it, let me just say. Ladies and gentlemen, we are up to 173 pre-sales of Dream Chaser, man. What? I know you saw the video in the beginning of this. Make sure you follow the instructions and you pre-order the song because everybody who's pre-ordered the song has gotten a new song. Yeah, Screwface Jean, thank you. The only way you can hear that song is by pre-ordering and then I send it to you. Yeah. yeah, there's a new song? Yeah, two for the price of one. That's what we doing. We doing two for ones, man. Two for ones. And I made the song just to really show my appreciation to the SFJ Nation and everybody who's supporting this uh, 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 song. Thank you guys so much. It's dropping January 5th. You have till January 5th to pre-order it after January 5th. There will be no more copies of Thank You being sent out. Just saying. You might want to. People are saying, dang, it's a low-key banger. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Let's get into the shenanigans, shall we? Hold up. Before we start, let me get my dread in line. Because my dread trying to... My dread trying to act up today. Just this one, though. Just this one. Nah, you ain't slick, little dread. I see you, pimp. I see you, pimp. You know what I need to do? I need to start putting product in my hair. I'll be twisting it with no problem. Anyway, just a dry twist. A dry twist don't be really. Let me go ahead and put this dread over here for safekeeping. Anyway, <laughs> so I've been covering what I want to call now the saga of Gucci vs. M. I want to run this back, you know what I mean? Because so often I say things, you know. Certain people might not pick up on it or certain people wait for other publications to say something about it. But I remember when Gucci Mane had this interview talking about M and when he was talking about, you know, he don't bump M and he'll ride around with all that. You won't tell me that you listen to M ride around with all that. And people were confused. Like I got hit up on my inbox. People were genuinely like, what? Why is Gucci saying these things? Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, and I said on my first video about Gucci and M, 
Go check it. Go peep it if you ain't believe it. They don't believe me. Shut up. Too much sauce. Go check it. I said, listen, sometimes the people who come out and diss people, I, I always say this. What do I always say? Identify the bias. And where did I, what did I find? I said, y'all got to pay more attention to hip hop. The people who are confused about it, y'all got to pay more attention to hip hop and not just the music you like, man. You got to pay attention. Because if you know, there should be no confusion. If you know hip hop, you know from the jump, Gucci and M Ben have problems. You really think that he's giving his honest take about that? Or even if it is honest, honest without any swaying, any bias. You think that? I said from the jump, the reason why Gucci would say this about M, the reason, because Gucci has never liked M. And where did it start? Huh. Started from the Mariah Can... Mariah Cannon? I guess Mariah Cannon. That was a bar. I didn't mean to say that. But Mariah Carey, Nick Cannon, Eminem beef. That's where it started. And Gucci played a role in that beef that a lot of people kind of just let him slide with. He was on the remix. A lot of people didn't really say nothing. They just kind of let him cook on that. But he was on a song that he knew was a diss track. The video was a blatant diss to M. And I remember back in the day, which is hilarious that I didn't believe this. Back in the day, y'all remember forever? It may not mean nothing to y'all. But understand nothing was done for me But I ain't planning to fly I want this forever, man, ever, man You remember that? And then when Emma said, nuts they go Packing stadiums and shady spits his flow Nuts they go, macadamia and they go so ballistic, whoa He can make them look like bozos He's wondering if he should spit this slow Fuck no, go for bro, this cup about to run it over, oh no that was a diss to Gucci. And I remember back in the day, people used to run up to me and tell me, yo, yo, you know M was getting that Gucci on that track. And I'm like, how do y'all figure it out? Because he said he wasn't going to rap slow. Then I thought about the timing. And I thought about everything, the behind the scenes. And now it took till 2018 where Gucci said that. And then I thought about it for a second. like, oh yeah, that was definitely a diss. That was a Eminem was 100% going at Gucci because, yeah, so... Nick Cannon was on Vlad TV and he came out and he revealed some information that I think is very important to this whole saga to show you the extent, the extent of hatred or anger that Gucci had towards M. Gucci was ready to take this physical. I've been said this. So let's read the article. We're going to get right to the article, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all don't even peep my epic walk. That's cool. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Let me get this right. Let me get this right. A lot. A lot. Oops, it does. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Got a bunch of stuff here. Don't worry about it. Headphones, wireless. I don't know. I just had to let y'all know how I was coming. You know what I mean? Let's read the article, man. Let's get right into the article. I didn't watch the Vlad TV interview. I'm not going to lie to you. Only because... Now, I watch certain Vlad TV interviews. But there's definitely some that I just be like, you know what? I'm going to skip this one today. I'm going to skip this one. Yep, I'm going to skip it. Um, and Nick Cannon was definitely one of those. Okay, so Nick Cannon says Gucci Mane offered to handle things during his Eminem beef. Now that's code. What M was Gucci saying is, I beat his ass. That's what Gucci saying. Essentially, that's what. Anyway, so Nick Cannon reflects on how Gucci Man wanted to get involved in his beef against M. Now you know it's real when someone is offering to get involved. When you don't ask them and somebody is offering to get involved, then he had some problems with M before this. But let's just talk about this. Nick Cannon uh, has given some in-depth interviews in recent times revealing a lot about the hottest topics throughout his career. As he sits down with Vlad TV. 
The ninth part of his interview got very, they got very in depth. Let me see who wrote this. Alex Zedell. Shout out to Alex Zedell for writing this. But um, the ninth part of the interview series has been released and he decided to speak on his beef against Eminem and how one particular rapper offered to handle, I got throw these in there, that's in there, things for him. And then it got this picture of, I'm sorry y'all, they got the most ridiculous picture of Nick Cannon. I'm gonna have to throw it in the thumbnail, man. I'm gonna have to throw it in the thumbnail. Uh, Gucci Mane is known to dislike M. Off tops. That was off tops. That was off tops. There's no spoiler warning. Boom, right there. But I, I, I keep it above. How do we know Gucci is known to dislike M before this? Do you know something I don't know? Alex, let me know. While they've never been embroiled in a full-blown battle, Guwap hasn't held back about his feelings towards the Detroit legend. The De let me do that again. In my voice. Gucci is known to dislike M. While they've never been embroiled in a full-blown battle, Guwap hasn't held back about his feeling towards the Detroit legend. Recently, is that a dread? Where did that come from? Recently, he explained why he believed M couldn't be considered the greatest rapper alive. One man that has also been vocal about Shady is Nick Cannon. Now, that makes sense with him. He's had, you know, talked about his wife. Uh, M used to have a relationship with Mariah. I'm pretty sure he smashed, so. Gucci Mane actually reached out to him to handle things during, uh, handle things during the back and forth. You know what's funny? Ask Cannon. When me and M so-called had the beef, the whole thing with Mariah, Gucci was one of the first people to be like, hey, bruh, we can go handle it. He pointed out that Gucci also has a verse on Mar Mariah Carey's Obsessed record, which was directed towards Eminem. Yeah, Guwap is not somebody you want to handle things with. As I'm going to keep it a buck. At that time, Gucci was so willing to go to jail and lose his life that, yeah, you definitely did not want to mess with, with, with Gu Gucci's not the one you want to handle stuff. But I don't know why he talking like, and, th and that's another crazy thing. Cause I could say like, Gucci, you a famous rapper. You're not going to do this. Gucci, why would you do, like, what are you talking about? But I ain't going to lie. If you go back and do some Googles about what he was doing around this time, kicking bitches out of moving cars and this and that. And one of the only rappers we know with a real body is Gucci. Gucci caught a body and got away with it. Cause they was trying to come get him. So I'm just saying at the, Gucci now. Nah, Gucci too mature for that. Gucci ain't gonna do that. Gucci back then, might have. He might have caught a fully round from Eminem's bodyguards. He might have. He might have he, he quickly caught a... But he might have tried, is all I'm saying. Um, he's done time before, and while he low-key isn't interested in heading back to prison, he's probably got tons of men on his team pause that would take the bullet. What do you make of this? Well, let me first comment about you, Alex. You opened this up by saying Gucci, is, well, you didn't open it, but you said Gucci is known to dislike M. But you kind of framed that with what you were saying, like he was known to dislike M before the Mariah Carey thing. Because to say Gucci is known to dislike M, I don't know. It, it, it's kind of, I feel like that's kind of misleading. And um, this was the old Gucci. That I think you don't make a good di different, differentiation, differentiation, difference. You don't make a good difference between them. I don't think you're letting people know that this was the Gucci man that was willing to do the time. This Gucci isn't. This was happening way before when Mariah Carey and Eminem were beefing. This was not. <coughs> the more mature Gucci. So to say um, Gucci is not someone you want to handle things. He's done time before and he will most likely not be interested in heading back, but he probably has tons of men that will. No, not now. They're not doing that. Put in the comment section, do you think Gucci would have actually done something to M? Huh? 
Why you think uh, Gucci? Do you think the Gucci and M beef is just over the Mariah Carey? And if it is, Nick, as a man, I got a question. Why is somebody that offended that my wife was dissed? And not even really dissed, but the diss was talking about how they had a relationship. Hmm. Hmm. At the time, Nick literally addressed this as a so-called beef. So he wasn't taking it that serious. And Gucci was saying he's ready to handle it. So Nick, why was he taking more uh serious? Why was he taking more effort into this than you? Why was he really willing to risk his freedom for Mariah Carey's honor? Makes you think, huh? Make you quit. I ain't gonna say nothing. But I'd make some calls, Nick. I know y'all ain't together anymore, but at the time, I'd be like, yo, Gooch. Cause I ain't gonna lie. You ladies be loving Gooch. I ain't gonna sit here and act like I don't believe Angela Yee who used to try to throw him some rhythm. Just saying. Let me log off or I get myself in trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, we going live today at 8 p.m. Eastern. We will be talking about the Joyner Lucas ADHD track list that leaked and the ADHD project. <laughs> I was gonna talk about it last live stream, but I was like, nah. We got too much to talk about. Let me go ahead and dedicate this whole live stream to it. The last live stream of the week, Screwface Live Channel. If you ain't subbed, I mean you would dub. That's the new slogan. If you ain't subbed, you would dub. Make sure you subscribe to this channel too. Love y'all. We out!